the biggest advice I can give to you when it comes to going into 2024 is to be real with yourself because honestly, if I would have had this medicine a long time ago, I probably could have actually gotten stuff done. It's just, it's just funny for me to kind of like look back and see like, sis, you've had ADHD like all along. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's have a vulnerable chat really quickly. And I just want to talk about like being real with yourself. Um, I feel like this year was all about me being real with myself, realizing that I have flaws, realizing that I can't get shit done, realizing that I may be depressed, realizing like something just was off with me. And on paper, I look great. I sound great. Um, I could have everything you know, a person would determine its success to look like. I mean, I have a good salary. I live in Dallas, have a nice apartment, have a Jeep Wrangler. Um, I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. I have clothes on my back. I go to Lifetime, which is an expensive gym. Like I would say I live a pretty abundant life. But at the same time, I was like, really just in turmoil like on the inside like I just felt like I've been depressed and I really couldn't like figure it out I guess I mean I feel like I've been depressed a good portion of my life I have trauma all that good stuff so I feel like I've been functioning in it for a very like long time and I think my body had got to the point where it was like all right I need some help so um just a little bit of a backstory um i started therapy like consecutively in 2018 um and then i worked with the same therapist to 2022 and we kind of had breaks here and there just because i didn't really need it but one thing she always like stressed to me is really like you might need to get on some medicine and i grew up in a household where i have you know, people around me who were medicated. And I just honestly didn't want to feel like I was dependent on a drug. Um, I also didn't want it to, you know, make me fat. Because like a lot of times when people get on these antidepressants, like they gain weight. And so I let that hold me back. I'm like, nah. So I, I kind of brushed her off the first two times she said it. Um, and then prior to me moving to Dallas, my life was a shit show. Like I was literally running from everything. So that's honestly why I moved um, here. I was running away from toxic family. It was just, I was running away from a lot of stuff basically. So I got to Texas and honestly, I thrived in that isolation or not necessarily thrived. I was able to take my mask off pretty much like when I'm by myself. Like when you're around all of your friends, all of your family, you tend to wear this mask of oh everything is fine especially like honestly if your life is fine like your life is fine so if you're sitting up here crying people will be judgmental like oh my god you have a great life like you be grateful for your life and it's just like if you're depressed you are depressed and what people don't realize depression is a real thing depression is something that is wrong with your brain like chemically so that's not something that you can just fix with money, fixed with clothes, fixed with weight loss. Like that is something that is like a chemical imbalance in your brain. Or people who experience a lot of trauma, I'm pretty sure I'm not saying this right because I'm not, you know, a brain doctor, but they end up having holes in their brain and their brains make different pathways or whatever. And your brain simply creates a way for you to survive through all of this trauma that you had. But it's damaging and like it only can go so long before you get to the point where you're just like oh, i'm at my wit's end so recently i've come to my wit's end and um it got to the point where like not only was i depressed i was literally walking to work or driving to work i would cry every time it was time for me to come to work um I just felt down. I feel like I just had to wear this mask pretty much all the time, especially at work. Um, then I would come home and I can kind of relax. And then, I mean, at that point I was living alone, but now that I am engaged, my fiance lives with me. And I think 
that also triggered the fact that I couldn't wear this mask. So it was like, I couldn't come home and like decompress in the way that I wanted to, or just because it like to a person who is not depressed, depression can look like this person has no drive. This person is lazy. This person is dirty. This person is junky. Like sometimes depression can look like you're not getting out the bed. You're not showering. You're not brushing your teeth. Like it, it can get really, really ugly. So I feel like I was experiencing a lot of that. And like I said, I've put off medicine for a very long time. And I finally got to the point where I just, I'm like, I'm going to see a psychiatrist because I can't do what I want. So anywho, I went to go see a psychiatrist down here and she told me, um, well, she diagnosed me with pretty much depression and ADHD. Um, I, I kind of figured I had ADHD too, because it was like, not only was I like sad or on the inside or whatever, but I could not get shit done. I literally had to put my bills on auto pay just for them to get paid. Like I knew they had to be paid, but like me getting up, getting the computer, paying the bill or me going, like it was just like something like was hard with that executive function. Like I couldn't get myself to do it. Or for instance, like I'd probably be like, oh, I'm gonna clean my house up today. It would take me literally all day to clean up because I wouldn't stick to one task. I would be like, oh, I'm cleaning the kitchen. Then I'm like, this living room is junky as fuck. Let me go straighten up this living room. Oh my God, the bathroom is dirty. Let me put some of this toilet bowl cleaner in here, walk away. Oh my God, let me fold these clothes. Like my brain was just literally like, it was, it was going crazy. So I got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I can't do this no more. I was like just tired. Like it just, it's exhausting for your brain to work that much. And not only like that was happening when I was actually trying to do stuff. If I'm sitting here trying to work, I just had these ruminating thoughts, like thoughts just coming and going, coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. And like, you cannot get any work done like that. So even at work, I was sitting there suffering and then I'm sitting in, you know, these cubicles in front of everybody and my screen is staying on the same screen because I can't get shit done because my brain is just so loud. Like it was literally just so loud. So six days ago, I began taking um, an antidepressant, which is a stimulant and it's supposed to help with like depression. And honestly, I feel like a lot better and I'm pretty sure like I'm still in that honeymoon phase could be a placebo effect because they say you sometimes don't feel the medicine work until like three to four weeks and I'm only going into my second week but when I say like my brain has quieted down like and so quiet it's even to the fact that like I went home for my graduation and um when we came back to Texas, I literally unpacked my suitcase, washed clothes, hung up clothes, put my suitcase back in my closet, cleaned up the kitchen, and cleaned up the living room. In a past life, I would never, I've never unpacked my suitcase on the first, like my first day back. Like it's just something that's never been like in me, but like I now have the energy and the wherewithal to get stuff done like even today like I wasn't late for work got here at 8 30 I was able to make up my bed just it's just it's a breath of fresh air and I'm just honestly like really mad at myself for not seeking this kind of help sooner and I feel like it's hard to seek help when it comes to medicine because like people can be judgmental or like I just feel like when you're dealing with depressed depression people just call you like lazy like if you wanted to you would but it's like I just literally could not and it's just it's hard to understand that with somebody who only thinks like black and white. The biggest advice I can give to you when it comes to going into 2024 is to be real with yourself. If you feel like you are struggling in something, please seek help because honestly, if I would have had this medicine a long time ago, I probably could have actually gotten stuff done. Like I in my in my spirit like feel like I am meant to be an entrepreneur, but I feel like I had a fear of really fully diving into entrepreneurship because I knew I couldn't get shit done.
but that wasn't being real with myself. I would just kind of make excuses or whatever. And then I would hate when people would send me videos on like self-sabotaging and um, being scared. And it was like, I felt like I wasn't self-sabotaging like on purpose or I don't think that I'm scared because of one, I know my shit. Like I can get stuff done when I'm feeling productive. It was more so like, I couldn't understand why my brain was working the way it would. And I can't consider myself lazy or unmotivated because I can build a whole business in a day. I can build a whole website in a day, have merchandise on the website in a day. I am a, like so good at everything that I do. It literally takes me a day to map all that stuff out. But then like at the end of it, I'm burnt out and like, that's all of me but that was part of the ADHD because it was like you hyper focus on things and I would hyper focus when I was in that creative space and then once I couldn't hyper focus anymore it just would die down so that is why it's important to be real with yourself and seek out help so if you guys are feel like you're struggling with executive dysfunction like you literally just can't get shit done you know you're not a lazy person um you feel like you're meant to like do more but you just can't get it done please go talk to somebody because you probably got adhd and like i i can even think back to like middle school like i went to a very i went to a magnet school so it was just like it was very very hard for me like my grades were terrible like i i just had a, i struggled because you had to really like focus and study and i just didn't do it all in middle school and then we, my high school was a art high school that focused on being like innovative and even in our reading class and our math class our projects all kind of like tied into each other so it was like what we were learning in one class it would pull into the next class even though it was like different subjects so I kind of felt like because I was a a different kind of way of thinking I thrived there I did good in high school I, it got me into Michigan State University but then once I got to college I was back on the struggle bus and like I just thought like I was an unmotivated person I couldn't figure out a freaking major like that right there alone might have been like ADHD. I couldn't figure out a major. When we would go to the library to study, I would be being silly, I would be playing, I'd be walking back and forth to get coffee, making jokes, like distracting other people because my brain was loud. Like I would be in the library looking at everybody, walking this way, oh, let me go to parties, let me get a sandwich, let me do this, let me do that. And like nothing was getting done. Like literally nothing was getting done and then I, um, so I didn't do too well in college. I got a two seven. Fast forward to my master's program, like I was more so in a field that I liked. I went into marketing and somehow I managed to get a 3.7, but baby, I was on the struggle bus. But I felt like because it was an area that I knew I wanted or it allowed me to be creative, I could do it, but it was so hard, you guys. And I honestly feel like I only got a 3.7 because most of our projects were group based. If I had to do all of that on my own, I just can imagine how hard it was because it was a struggle for me. Like I would make sure I did all my work in the time frame where I felt productive. But when you are working with other people, they may work at 12 o'clock at night and I'd be like, my brain is fried at 12 o'clock at night. So. And it, it's just it's just funny for me to kind of like look back and see like sis you've had ADHD like all along but if you had parents that were more aware to catch that you know you could have got help sooner and like not only just on the parent piece but just like the stigma in the the world like even when I told people now I was going to see a psychiatrist everybody like don't do it try to do something natural like you don't want to be dependent on pills but like baby when the sometimes the depression it outweigh everything like at this point like I I had to think about it in a different way I had to think about either thrive in life or don't thrive in life and thriving in life might include you getting some help with some medicine so that's what i did and like one of my major concerns with medicine was just the weight gain piece because i knew if i gained any more weight 
like even five pounds, I would lose my shit because I would make me depressed. Like I am at a comfortable weight for my body. And obviously, honestly, I will want to be like smaller, but when it comes to ADHD, people have like binge eating problems. So it was just like, it was just a whole mess kind of like tied into one. So I kind of let the, the psychiatrist know that that was my main concern. So she put me on something that was actually like, had an appetite suppressant side effect because she did tell me a lot of these ADHD, I mean, not ADHD, just antidepressant meds in general will cause you to gain weight because something with like the receptors or something like, you just begin to like eat more because it increases your appetite and stuff like that. And that's not something I wanted, but I had somebody who, you know, listened to me and listened to my needs and my wants and she got me on something different. So like I said, I've only been on it about six days so I can kind of continue to do an update. Oh, I didn't let you guys know what I am on. So I am on Bupropion XL, which is extended release. So it works in like a 24 hour kind of like cycle. Um, and it just gives you like extended release of the medicine throughout the day versus like you taking an SR, which is, couldn't tell you honestly, but if you take those, it's like you have to take them twice a day. So you have your ups and your downs, but this medicine is kind of just like even out like throughout the day. So um, I would love to give you a guys an update, maybe in a month or so on just how things are going. But as of now, the fact that I'm recording a video was proof because my last video was right when I got engaged and that was two months ago. So the proof is in the pudding, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this guy, I hope this video inspires you to just be, a, be real with yourself. You need a little extra help in another department get the help you need so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you bye